Hello family, welcome back and thank you for clicking on this week's video. First, I want to wish all moms a happy Mother's Day and I hope you are enjoying your day. As you can see, I am still working outside in my yard. In today's video, I have evergreens to plant, shutters to paint, and I will power wash my driveway. I have quite a bit to do and it took me several days to get it all done, but guess what? I did it, I got it all done. As you can see, I am placing evergreens in place where I want them to be. I will uh, split a few more of my liriopes and add them to this flower bed. This particular liriope was huge. It was big. I was able to split the liriope into three nice sizes and I will take them and continue to place them where I want them to be in the flower bed. The liriopes are not that difficult and hard to um, maintain. In the spring, you will have to trim off some of the dead leaves, but not that much. It's not that bad. I'm going to pair these liriopes with some blue rug junipers I purchased from Lowe's. I purchased four of them and I will be adding them. I think they pair very well together. They both are low ground covers and low maintenance to me. And that's what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take them around and finish putting them in place. And then we will get started with planting our first Liriope into the ground. So what I'm doing, I am showing you how I will be having them um, laid out. So it's Liriope, then you have Juniper, Liriope, Juniper. Then we, I have that large shrub that I need to trim. I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice trim. And then you can see I'm just taking it, Liriope, Juniper, Liriope, Juniper, all the way around to the back of the home. And I have one little space that I did not have enough, but it's okay. And it's this part right here. I will not be adding anything to it on this video. Maybe in the fall, I might get another juniper and put a juniper there. But for right now on this video, it's gonna be nothing there and I'm just gonna go ahead and plant. So what I'm doing right now, I am moving the mulch on the first Liriope that I'm gonna put in the ground and start digging. I hope by now you have had an opportunity to get outside and spruce up your curb appeal. Over the past several weeks, I have shared so many videos with you of me being outside, doing outside yard work, curb appeal. Um, it started with my patio enclosed area. I spruced that up. I went out to the yard. I did the shed, the French drains, trimming shrubs, putting mulch down. I did my deck refresh makeover. I set that up for my guests and for my family. Also then I went into the front of the home and I trimmed all those shrubs up there. I cleaned the flower beds out. I planted more liriopes in the front. I also decorated the front porch. And this is where we are right now. So guys, I hope you have had an opportunity to get out there and get it done and that I motivated you, I inspired you, and hopefully you got some ideas of how you can maybe implement them into your yard work, the ideas that I've done. Let me know, drop a comment below.
In a couple more weeks, we will be kicking off our first holiday for the summer, I call it. It's the kickoff of the summer, Memorial Day. So guys, make sure you get on out there and get it done. Hi, I'm going to take this time to introduce myself. I am Shauna LaKell, and if you are clicking on today's video for the first time, I want to extend a warm welcome and thank you for clicking on today's video. We have so many new family members, and I just have to take this time out and extend a warm welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on that subscribe button and becoming a part of my YouTube family. You are so welcome and I am looking forward to meeting you. If you have not introduced yourself, please go ahead and introduce yourself to me so that I can know who you are and I can formally give you a welcome, a warm welcome. I like doing that as well. And I just have to say to our returning family members, you guys, I see you. You know exactly who you are. I thank you so much. We just have so much fun in the um, comments. And I thank you guys for leaving those comments. Those comments mean a lot to me. So continue to keep leaving comments. Make sure you give the video a big thumbs up if you're enjoying it. Make sure you click on that button and make sure you always leave a comment. And if you have not yet to join the Shauna LaKell YouTube family, this is your opportunity. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button and become a part of our family. We would love to have you. We are 4K strong. Yay! That's all because of each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you for coming back for each video. Thank you for always leaving me a thumbs up. Thank you for leaving those comments. Thank you for encouraging me and motivating me to keep pushing this type of content to you. And I'm so glad that you are receiving it and enjoying the video. We are 4K strong. As I was saying earlier about the junipers, they are very hardy. They can handle um, cold, the heat, drought. They're going to survive. They just need six hours of direct sun, which is on this side of the house. They will get that plus a little bit more. And I'm excited to see how well these two plants grow together and you know complement one another I'm thinking maybe in the fall I might put up some a little taller but it has to be like a um can't be no more than five feet tall I don't want it to grow no taller than that and I might do pencils I like those pencil plants and I don't mind trimming those they don't take a lot because they don't grow out. They just mainly grow straight up. And I'm thinking about adding that up to the foundation of the brick as a backdrop. And that might be in the fall, I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna do some more research. That's just something that's been going through my head while I was out here planting. I thought I would just share that with you.
On this day, I was outside planting the evergreens. The weather was nice. I like to get up and get outside right before sunrise. That way I can have a very productive day. I don't have to worry about getting overheated. It was a very good day. I wanted to get on this side of my home to start planting and I just kept putting it off and I had no motivation. But you guys kept motivating me and saying how much you enjoyed the yard work videos. It was a win-win for me and for you. So I am so glad you're enjoying the, you know, the content. Thank you so much for motivating me and inspiring me to continue to provide you the content. But this here is going to be the last one because I'm pretty much done with what I need to do outside. I will pop in and show some yard work because I do have to cut the grass to maintain that and do a little shrubs here and there. But for right now, that's it. We're going to go ahead and after this video, I'm going to move into my garage. So be looking for that video coming soon. What I'm going to do is go ahead and take those clippings from the shrub that I just trimmed. I'm going to just take them to the back of our property. We created a nice little dumping station, I call it. And Mark has a drum that he likes to take those clippings and place them inside the drum and burn them during the burning season in the fall.
Okay, family, I am done for the day. I'm not gonna do anything else. I don't wanna overwork myself. I did quite a bit and I'm very pleased with my results. A storm came through and blew all the leaves from the tree into my flower bed, but it's okay. It still looks nice. Well, I don't have to do any watering. This is another day I decided to come on out here after I recuperated from being outside um, planting all those evergreens. I finally got this sidewalk done. Oh my gosh, it is gross. It's nasty. It's filthy. It's dirty. And I just want you to see how this machine just cleans up that filthy, gross dirt that's on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be sharing a little before and after so you can see a portion of that sidewalk of what I clean and then you'll see the dirty part. It's amazing. I mean, amazing. So one of the things I realized, I, I just have to share my, you know, my pros and cons, um, the good, the bad. I. This, this job is not for me. I do not enjoy doing it. It is painstakingly, it hurts my body. It really does because you cannot go fast. Of course, I have this speeded up, but you have to go slow with that machine and go up and down, back and forth with it. It is not an easy job. This is not something I enjoy doing at all but the satisfaction is priceless i mean the results are unbelievable so with that i'm very pleased with how it comes out i do know i will have to go back over it again like especially around those corners of the edging it's hard to get there so i need to use the wand that comes with it and go around those corners of the edging it's not an easy job people so if you hire somebody trust me they may be younger than I am so they probably their bodies are probably more conditioned to it I'm not conditioned to this this is not for me but the satisfaction is priceless what you see is priceless It took me several hours to get this done. I had to actually stop videotaping because I could not keep moving that camera around and setting up the, the machine, the, the water hose. It was a lot of work involved. It really took, it really takes two people. And as you know, Mark wasn't feeling well so I had to do this all by myself but definitely if I had some extra hands it would have definitely made this job go a little bit faster and it wouldn't be so brutal on my body I slowed the video down so that you can see exactly how slow I was moving, making sure that I hit all the spots and I still missed some.
as I mentioned earlier, I could not videotape the whole entire process. So I'm sharing some pictures of what it looked like after I finished. And it, I think it turned out nice. Okay, we are moving on to me painting the shutters on the front of a home. There are a total of eight of them. First, I had to clean the shutters. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of cleaning motivation of that as well. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. One thing I do wanna point out, on the far left side, I forgot to turn the camera on when I cleaned those shutters, but Trust me, they got cleaned. This was my very first time ever painting shutters and I am so proud of myself. It wasn't hard to do and I think I did a excellent job.
I am loving my curb appeal. It is everything. It's on point and I know every time I pass by my home, I have a big smile on my face. You know why? Because I did it. I put in that hard sweat equity work. I did it and I'm very proud of how it turned out. Now I can be able to to sit outside on my deck or inside my four season patio and just relax and just enjoy my labor of love. Well, remember, I am now moving on into my garage. And after I've finished doing a garage, I'm going to go and move into the house and it will be the owner's suite that I will give it a nice refresh. Now, also, as promised, these are the Liriopes in the front of the house. See, they are really thriving and doing very well. You guys, thank you so much for um, supporting me. And I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed week. Bye-bye. Yeah, I've been just picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up, picking up.